goes through the book. She's like, oh, 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 kawaii, kagawa, kagawa. <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with another book haul because again, not self-control when it comes to the thrift store. So I have a total of six books to share with y'all this time. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have, I'm actually super excited about just because it sounds super good in my opinion. It is The Good Girl by Mary Kubica and I recently read a Mary Kubica book and I just keep buying them even though I think I only gave it a 3.5 it might have just been a 3. I find Mary Kubica to be one of those authors where you're reading her books and you're just like what the fuck is happening right now. I like when I can't be able to tell the ending of a book I find that her characters are so unreliable that it's literally impossible to know what they're going to do next so I personally love that. So I'm very excited about this one. It's about a girl who goes to meet her on and off again boyfriend at some bar but he never shows up so she ends up leaving with a stranger and then he kidnaps her and takes her to this secluded cabin and detectives are trying to find her and it's just this huge mess. Sounds right up my alley so I'm super excited about it. The next book I picked up literally was only because I recently read The Last Name of Sarah by Kristen Cicerelli and it was all about dragons. I am now obsessed with dragons. It is Talon by Julie Kagawa and as you can see like it's literally a book about dragons and it feels like scales and I was like I need it just because dragons so now I have it the next book I picked up because it was super popular when it first came out a lot of the big booktubers were talking about it It was like this huge sponsored video but it's the diabolic by SJ Kincaid not 100% sure if anybody even liked this book because I think they all just talked about it and then never actually read it. Not 100% sure if that is actually true, but I don't remember seeing a lot of people actually wrap it up. We're gonna hope that when I read it, I like it. I'm pretty sure it's about some girl who was raised to like protect somebody, but then her like charge dies. I could be very wrong, but we don't know, so. <laughs> I guess we'll see when we actually pick it up and read it. When that will be, we still don't know. The next book I picked up solely based off of the author because I had no idea he wrote another book. So I was like, hmm, intriguing. But it is The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. And it basically follows these two teenagers who find this CD. And when they download it into their computer, they see their Facebook profiles from years in advance because Facebook isn't actually existing yet so when they refresh their page their future constantly changes so they have to deal with like what went wrong to cause that future kind of thing. I think it sounds kind of cool. I'm really interested to see what the heck it's about and also I want to see what another book by Jay Asher is like. So I'm intrigued. I don't know if anybody else even knew about this book. Like if you've read it, like let me know. Is it good? Is it worthwhile? I would like to know before I invest my time. And then the final two books are just because I have the third and fourth book in this series and I've literally never seen the first or second book. And then the fifth and sixth book was also at the thrift store. The third and fourth book was also there but like I already have it so I was like don't need it. But <laughs> you're all probably gonna be like what the heck Jan. It's called the Vampire Beach series and I'm honestly not 100% sure which one is the first and second book and which is the fifth and sixth, but I have High Stakes and Hunted and also Bloodlust and Initiation. The third and fourth books are called Ritual and Legacy, but those are in the other room and I am way too lazy to go get them, but basically it's like a vampire romance thing. I know that vampires are like done now, but these came out in like 2005 when like Twilight was big and all that jazz, so I just wanted them because I have the third and fourth books, so you yeah, know, might as well get the next books for super cheap and not have to look at them on Amazon or wherever I was gonna buy them from when I eventually got to those books. So now I have them. Am I gonna read them? Who knows? Alright guys, so that was my book haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you've read any of these, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.